Only on Fox 6, a Cedarburg family is speaking out in the wake of hate mail they received about the color of their skin. Our Madeline Anderson joins us live in downtown Cedarburg with more on the racist message and how the community is responding to this. Madeline. Well, the family who is biracial received that anonymous letter yesterday telling them to leave the city. But thanks to overwhelming support they've already received from the community, they say they have no plans of going anywhere. In an envelope addressed to quote the scums, Devin Harris says his heart dropped when he read this letter he and his family received in the mail Wednesday. I actually sat in the driveway probably about 30 minutes just stunned. The note, seemingly directed at his fiance Shannon Lilly, reads in part, quote, no one wants you infecting the area, so take that expletive and those expletives with you and get the expletive out. I've dealt with situations like this before, younger, but I always wanted to hide this from them, from Shannon and my kids. Harris says he and Lilly, along with their two children, moved into their house in the town of Cedarburg in November and have never encountered any issues until now. At the end of the day, they probably don't even know why they're, they hate. In an effort to expose the racism, the family shared the photos of the hate mail on Facebook. Within 24 hours, the post has already generated thousands of shares and comments expressing outrage. We want to be better than that. It's also inspired fellow Cedarburg resident Daniel Savick to take action, inviting the community to gather tonight outside City Hall for a peaceful protest. A vehicle to express that we have love and support for this family and that hate really has no home in Cedarburg or anywhere. Sending a message of acceptance far more powerful than a few hateful words. We're not going we're not going anywhere. We're not leaving. Actually, you'll see more of us now. And tonight's rally begins at 6 o'clock. Again, it will take place here outside City Hall. Meanwhile, the Ozaki County Sheriff's Office is investigating who is behind this letter. Reporting live in Cedarburg, Madeline Anderson, Fox 6 News. Hopefully they find the person responsible. Madeline, thank you.